Last season, 18 new college students battled for the title of Soul Survivor in one of the most strategically complex games ever invented. Survivor Boston is doing it again. We're putting a new group of 15 students through the test. They will have to work together or be voted off. I am from South Carolina. I want to be a writer for Late Night TV. I'd like to have an own program, but I wouldn't want to host it. I'd like want someone else to do that, but like, I just kind of like writing and joking around with friends, and I feel like that's a platform for that. I think I'm kind of funny, and I'm really good at cooking, so if someone wants to come over and have dinner and talk about strategy, that would work too. Well, I don't think that I'm going to win, if I'm being honest. I'm just hoping that when I'm voted out, it's because I'm a threat and not because I'm annoying. I am the next Soul Survivor because I feel like I know how to play the game. I feel like I know how to be cunning when I need to be cunning. I feel like I need, I know how to be a team player when I need to be a team player. Um, and I also like, I'm, I'm a comedic arts major. Like I know how to get everyone excited and pumped up. And like, I just feel like I have a very versatile skill set. So I went to boarding school. I've had to just be on my own for a really long time. And um, I've kind of done the whole like grouping up with people and like, being in a group but also being on your own, like I've just kind of done that before with like lots of different social situations. So I feel like that directly applies, uh, directly applies to Survivor. You know, if I have something to say or if like I have a strong opinion about like who should be going home, well then I'm definitely gonna fight to have my opinion heard, which might in turn come back to bite me in the butt. Okay, like I need to at least introduce myself to every person in the room. And so I did that much. I, I found the people that I knew and I was like solely talking to everybody. Kind of sizing them up a little bit, but not really in like a bad way, I guess. And I, for some reason, was not expecting as many cameras, even though I probably should have been. And I was also surprised by how many people I knew, like how many faces I recognized. Um, because I really had no clue who was going to be on the cast. I'm Stefan. I am a sophomore VMA student. And I'm really cold right now. Well, I was on crew last semester, and uh, it was a really fun time. I liked being behind the scenes. Um, there's a lot of drama. I didn't know it was going to be that bad, so I want to be. I want to, you know, dip my foot into that drama. You know, some people can like just like go through the motions and just be like, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm doing it because my friend's doing it. But like, I, I honestly want to like have fun, and, like actually try and just have a good time, and also else. They have to learn to adapt or they'll be voted out. In the end, only one will remain to claim the $100 prize. 92 days, 18 people, one survivor. Alright guys, welcome to Survivor Boston Season 3. to begin the adventure of a lifetime, an experience that I guarantee none of you will ever forget. We'll be splitting you guys up into tribes. You guys might have noticed that there are 15 people here. That's because we're going to be having three tribes, so I'll get the buffs. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Alright, so if we give you orange buff, Oh Go behind here, right here on the left side. Check if we give you a yellow buff in the middle, and if we give you a white buff on the right side. All right, first person, Hannah M. You're on the white tribe. All right. Okay. All right, Mary, you are on the orange tribe. I've done a lot of theater, and when you walk into a cast of people that you don't really know, walking into an audition, I think, would be the best. Comparison because it's like you're walking in and you want to be intimidating, but also like not show you're being intimidating, like low key intimidating. John, you are on the yellow tribe. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> my name is John Madigan, or should I say my last name? I definitely think sometimes I can be a bit gullible. From what I've seen in the show, I definitely have to watch out for some people that like could try to make me believe one thing. In like a game that is so dedicated to uh, like sort of like being schemy and being like a weird, like a snake or something like that, I mean, like it makes me a lot more aware. Rise, you're on the orange tribe. On it. 
I'm Roz Moyed, and I'm a sophomore media studies major with a double minor in political science and political communications. I like to think of myself as a people person, so I feel like that's my best trait, like I'm very charismatic. I feel like I could do amazing and be amazing, but I also feel like I'm just gonna like come off as like a threat the first round and they're gonna be like, bye! <laughs> Nick, you're on the white track. The first impression I had, it was really interesting to see people that I knew. Like, I recognized so many faces, but I didn't know their names. So I had to come up to them and not, like, introduce myself again, I guess. Yeah, we're done with clapping. Don't clapping. Tony, you're on the yellow tribe. I've studied Big Brother and Survivor and I know exactly how strategy works, how people communicate with one another and how to lie. I like to think, and it might just be the, the mythos of a gay, I like to think I'm a likable person and I think people, especially at Emerson, are inherently placed to like gay men because it's just, woo! I will make sure that I am seen as so little of threat and I'm just that extra dramatic, happy-go-lucky gay that everyone's like, don't mind him. Joe, you're on the orange tribe. Yeah. Hell yeah, welcome! Woo! All right, Shelly, you're on the yellow tribe. Oh, well for Shelly. Bram, you're on the white tribe. <laughs> my name is Bram Lowenstein. A lot of my leadership skill comes from backpacking and leading people through the mountains and you know learning how to survive on my own. It's it was really about you know kind of gauging yourself and learning when you need to be a bit quieter um, and when you need to you know actually speak up if something was. Really wrong. Molly, you're on the white tribe. I was surprised that I didn't know as many people as I thought I was going to, just because like I didn't know that, or I didn't expect there to be so many freshmen. Unfortunately, with Survivor in a college setting versus in like a normal TV setting, there is some bad blood. Tony and I were like best friends for like almost two years, like from before Emerson, and then last semester we like. We're not on great, we're on like speaking terms, like it's a very like superficial fake friendship that we have built from the wreckage of a not great friendship. <laughs> Christine, you're on the yellow tribe. <laughs> Stefan, you're on the orange tribe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kenzie, yes. you're on the white yes. tribe. Yes. <laughs> Anna Cairo, you're on the yellow tribe. Woo! Brandon, you are on the orange tribe. Woo! Guys, that's my favorite color. Let's go. Thank you. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Have everyone's attention real quick. Reveal your tribe names because we have pre-picked them. We are still haunted by season one's of Tribe Called Quest. <laughs> All right, really so this season, a lot of what we're going to be based off of is old English themes, basically the first um, immig immigrants, pilgrims who came over to the United States. We're going to be basing most of our words off of old English. Orange Tribe, your name is Yord, E-O-R-D. It basically means the earth. Oh, oh, Yellow tribe, you guys are mete, which means substance. White tribe, you guys are leku, meaning sea or lake. Right off the bat, Nick, what do you think of your tribe? We're going to win. Oh! Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> Alright, well, Shelly, right off the bat, there's only five people on each tribe. How does that feel for you? Oh gosh. Um, I think it's going to be alright, because I feel like all the tribes are gonna be great friends and uh, sure. I don't really try not to make anyone bad at me. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying like real neutral true. stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna explain like a couple of rules real yeah. quick. Uh, there's three idols hidden around, one for each team obviously. They're either gonna be on campus in the Boston Commons or the theme of this season is Beacon Hill, so it could be hidden. Oh in yes. Beacon Hill. Uh, I don't Beacon Hill. So in this game a lot of things sometimes don't necessarily go your way. Twists can happen, which can eliminate you prematurely. You could lose a challenge to this person who's supposed to go home, and then all of a sudden, you're the next on the chopping block. There are a lot of experienced players in this game who, at points, 
kind of have been screwed over. They know a lot about how to avoid those situations, but they also know how it's happened to them. If you're wondering what we're talking about, you can just ask them yourselves. Because... Oh, yeah. Three players from past seasons. First, we have Sarah Fristo, former player on season two. Oh, yeah. I was first eliminated in season two. Sarah. I knew it! I don't necessarily think I'm someone that people would see as a threat necessarily, and I think that's going to work to my advantage. I feel like last season I didn't cement my place as much, obviously, because my place went away in the first episode, but it feels so good to like give myself another chance and to prove that I am more than just a one episode gal. I was a small former player of season one. You're going to be joining Mete. Mete? Okay. <laughs> I think that Everybody can see my game, and that's an advantage. I think people know a little bit of what to expect, and I think I didn't actually give that much away. I was pretty friendly, and I've still been pretty friendly, and we'll see. I got snake activities planned in the future, but that's in the future. So everything in season one and everything right now is all smiles. And last, Joe Johnson. <laughs> You'll be joining my crew. Ooh, I like it. Well, I'm back, boys. Uh, so it's Joseph Augustus Johnson. The fourth, you know, I got uh, voted out pre-merge, and I just felt like I could have made it all the way to the end if I would have made it to the merge. So, yeah, so I'm going to play like a little bit more hardball. I was like, you know what, I want a little bit of redemption, a little bit of uh, revenge. I've been I've been to six tribal councils. It's a lot for pre-merge. <laughs> so, Bram, what's that like bringing people back? Well, it's really cool. I mean, I didn't know I had already. I didn't, I didn't know Joe even came to school. I knew him. Yeah, I didn't know Bram went here yeah, either. Yeah, I knew him before. Um, so it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Cool. Are oh, you cool. guys go to Emerson? Oh yeah, yeah. We're, we go to Emerson. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Fun fact: we all go to the same school. Wow. <laughs> wow. So. So actually, when when you guys brought them in, I thought it was just kind of a, like like meet and greet. They weren't actually playing. I'm like, cool. Like. All right, they're not celebrities. They're like then you said they're joining our teams. Like, oh, it's actually really cool. These three players all have something in common. Two things actually. The first one, they all have experience in this game. They know the stress levels. They know the strategy. It's experience that you can utilize in order to get further in the game. The second thing they have in common, none of them have won the game. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them didn't make the merge. This is a chance for not only redemption for them but a chance for the cast to we could use this in any way. Having someone who's who knows the game is both advantageous uh, and like kind of scary because if Joe hypothetically or anyone that's come back from prior seasons makes it to later rounds they're going to know the game a lot better than everyone else obviously and that gives them kind of an upper hand. I'll tell you, like, I don't know, I had this old impression, like, all of those people in my tribe were, like, really nice people. Maybe they lied to me, or their appearance was false, like, I couldn't understand, I couldn't read their emotions, but they were, like, all nice guys, I guess. 
fit around in there. Not quite spaced out. We were like, uh, tell uh, us, tell us your story. story. Sorry? Here. Tell us your story with okay. Survivor. The Survivor? The, the, yeah. Oh, right. man, it's, what if, it's I mean, you started like the very beginning. Right the very beginning. Oh, well, it was August 13th, 1998. I was... That's horrible. Yeah, that's really bad. That's so faint. Every single week, we get live show at so what are you guys most nervous about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, tr I mean, like, I tried not to say what my strategy was in the first episode, and I didn't, yay. Um, yeah, and I just tried to, like, make myself more of a presence and make myself... I put myself out there as someone who has experience in the game. That's what I kind of did differently, and um, that's what... I think is gonna be good for like cementing my place here. Okay, yeah. we're, okay what are some strengths we have? We're cutting and beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think we got a good group. We got a good group. I like to. I see myself more like as the kind of group strategizer. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and you know be a team player until the merge at least. And I think we got a good group. Let's get your. Wait a hot sec. Wait a hot sec, please. I see Molly, who I had a falling out with. She, she and I were best friends last year, and we had a falling out. So that was already something I was a little, I was a little nervous about because I know that she's someone. If people listen to her enough, if all she has to do is be like. Yeah, Tony can't be trusted like he's a snake, then that could ruin me potentially. I think we should have like a series of trailers and then like a big, like a horse. Oh, okay. Okay. The first person that I thought was like going to be negative for me, probably honestly, was Shelly because uh, she kept saying she was dumb, and if you keep saying you're dumb, you start to believe that. Like, I get it, maybe that's her strategy to make people think that, but like. I don't know. Wasn't my thing at the beginning. I say yeah. underneath. I'm like, on top. Yeah. yeah. I could tell that I would connect with some people more than others, which is just like any situation, not just Survivor. Okay. Christine did my accent back to me. I was like, hey, I'm Shelly. And then she was like, hi, Shelly. I don't know. It rubbed me the wrong way a little bit. But then we were put on the same tribe, so. Or better, so do we want a squiggly sun or a spiky sun? I think, I, wait, I think we should do I'm a kind of, I kind of like the spiky stuff. I like the spiky stuff. it's more aggressive. Alright, are you all ready to get to your first immunity challenge? Yeah. 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 This is what you were playing for. Yeah. 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 This is what the first place gets. The second place will get... Oh. No, a smaller, less significant. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. It was actually like a second one, but I dropped it about five minutes ago. So oh, oh, it was thirty bucks. But it'll do. <laughs> it'll still be immune. All right. So for today's challenge, we have four parts. For the first part, two tribe members will be reaching the balls that are above all of you right now. Oh. One tribe member will have to get on the back of the other in order to tear the balls down. You will then untangle those balls. Once both balls are untangled, you will hand them to the next two tribe members. You will use them to knock down the stack of cups you see over there. Once all ten cups have been knocked down, your tribe now has a set of dominoes on the table. The tribe will use those dominoes to line them up in a path they will knock down one by one, as we all know dominoes do. The last domino will have to fall in the bucket, where you will find a puzzle. Your entire tribe will work together to solve that puzzle. First tribe to finish wins immunity and a clue to the location of the hidden immunity idol. Second tribe to finish also gets immunity. Third tribe, tribal council, where you will be the first person voted out of Survivor Boston. Wow. <laughs> right. So, for immunity, Survivor's ready. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good job. Step on. 
We're good. Look who's still on the first ball. We got this. We got this. Mete and Yoy still here. working on the second ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I was going to say Mante, it's going to say Mante. Oh, 
Yeah. It's gonna say yeah. There's the sword. I'm just gonna say Matt said. So maybe this is a border. This is all cross. It's like cursive, guys. It's cursive. Oh. It's like it's in a row. So. This is the team. Oh, got it. No, this is all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that's right. Yo, that's oh, right. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 You'll also be getting a clue to the hidden immunity idol. It will be a group need to use it in a way's favor. Oh. Matt say? Yes! Yeah! Yeah! No clue to the hidden immunity idol, but you are safe for the next yeah. Council. Yeah, the clue is yeah. to give you all better news. Travel Council on Sunday will be first. We'll see when we go down this game. We'll talk about it all the time. You all can grab your stuff and head on out. Oh, it was horrible. It was horrible. I don't know why, but it was horrible. I thought I would I would do better, but I didn't. So, yeah, the overall per performance was awful. So I can only blame myself. Just by being a returning player, I know I already have a target on my back, or at least I think I do, because I've been around, and I'm sure the situation is the same on the other tribes, where the returning player is going to be the odd one out, and that can either mean you're separated, or you do something else. And right now, I'm just doing something else. I kind of walked in, and I said multiple times, like, we're all even players, and we are, I mean, we're all just on the same team, but they're definitely looking at me as, like, a team captain. And it's kind of like a leading figure because I've been here before. And so I just had to adapt to that. And so I think because of that, I'd be fine for a little while in terms of immunity because they all trust me so far, which is super cool. And I trust them for the moment. They thought our tribe was a big threat. Yeah. Like, for, why? I'm definitely nervous about people trusting me and who I can trust and people liking me enough that they don't decide to kick me out. I want to hit a sweet spot where I seem like I'm valuable to keep around, but not enough of a threat to get rid of. Like, you're, let's look at your tribe. You guys are friends and good players. You and Hannah. Yeah. And then Shelly was good. You have Moses, who seemed like a very That's good player. Okay. Tony and Joe and I, Joe Scaradilli, we three have an alliance, and what we have figured out is since Joe got the first place and he got the idol clue, he told us what he thinks it means and everything. The reasoning for Shelly over Christine, Christine's always going to be with us. She'll never, like, stray from you or me, I think. And I think Shelly and John are friends. And I think they'll vote together. Yeah, I love Tony. Tony's really great. Um, I think he's kind of like me in that we love, like, to strategize and kind of, like, look at everything as a whole and, like, how can we, like, take this entire situation and kind of dominate it. If, like, they want to vote against us, that's two votes against fucked. us, and then we're fucked, basically, because then we have to wrangle the other votes, and it's easy for them to get the majority. Or it could just be, like, three versus three. Christine stays with us, let's say Moses votes with them, which I, I don't think he Moses would anyway. Moses would probably vote with us. I think so, too, so I think we're fine. But, like... Um, if we all make it to the merge, that's going to be, like, our three... I could be the Tim Gunn, so there's the hosts, and then I could come on and talk Designer. to you guys. Do it, do it, do it. Voice. Designers. Survivors. <laughs> Make it work. <laughs> you have two pieces of flint, <laughs> one one frozen steak, one fire, and two nights in the common. Make it work, survivors. <laughs> I'm very scared about alliances right now. I don't know what to do because, as I said, as I said before, people have already come into this game for in my tribe like already knowing each other especially tony and hannah they are like super close eventually we have to vote out at least one of them that's definitely going to be like on my list that's a priority like if uh, going forward
Oh, damn. They are our level. Season um, three. Who's going to kick three, some ass? Um, yeah. Twists twist and, and turns. They have officially the arrived. Oh, yes. Um, I was shook it. I think we were all shook it. But you know what? Who was But you know what? But you know what? No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. They were shook it. They were shook it. They were shook it. them. Guys, our team got potential. I really liked my team the second you named it because I knew absolutely no one on my team. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to go in there with an open mind. Everyone's on the same playing field. I don't like anyone more yet. And I just wanted to have fun and like that's what happened so the moment I walked in I was just like okay this is something that like you gotta be on your A game for it's like group interviews everyone's like vying for like the spot uh, survivor confessional uh, I just gave Kenzie the rest of my pizza I think it's safe to say we've made an alliance yeah is that true besides for the fact that he's gorgeous um Stefan Okay, <laughs> Stefan is basically just like, I feel like he's like the heartthrob of our group, like he's like the calm, caring, like he's like, okay guys, like we got this, like. How do you feel about my team? I, I don't know what team you're on. <laughs> Yellow? Maybe. No, you're on the white team. Maybe. Obviously. I mean, not because, <laughs> this is hard to look now. Is this our floor? Why are you trying to intimidate me? I'm not trying to intimidate you. You lost. Me. Why are you getting in my face? Back up. Just back up. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, just back up. What's Let's your name again? Civil. What's your team's name again? Look who? She touched me and her finger cracked. <laughs> I think this means further things are going to happen. We were, we're both spree admits. We met like first week of school. We're like... She's like one of my best friends here. As we were walking to Paramount for the first day, we we're like, we should walk in separately so as to not like raise any suspicion and like show people that we know each other. But we ended up just doing it anyway because um, a bunch of other friend groups walked together. Uh, confession of the day, number two. Uh, I fucking hate Kenzie. Me <laughs> so, too. Honestly, Me that's too. it. We are looking for the idol. I felt good. There's a lot of strong people on that team. I f yeah, I definitely felt good being in your. Okay, so we are looking for the idol. We have not found it yet. We're kind of giving up and we're a little. I don't know if this is showing my face or not. Yes. And we are a little discouraged and we're a little worried that someone on our team might have. Uh, Stefan, Brandon, and I were looking for the idol in the library, and we couldn't find it, and like, we are really convinced that it was there, and it's not now. I would say I'm suspicious of Mary, because she is the first one who posted in the group, like, oh, I, she, or like, she was like, I went to the library, and I found a book called Dark Mirror, but there wasn't anything there, and it's like, we're thinking maybe now there isn't anything there, but maybe there was something there when she looked. And so we're like a little bit, a little bit wary of her, but I don't know for sure. So we're thinking that um, somebody has taken the immunity idol because we've looked in about 10,000 places and it's just, not, it's just not working. So yeah, we think somebody took it. Is it Mary? Is it Joe? Is it Roz? We don't know. I, I, I don't have it, so. <laughs> Um, could be married. Yeah, it could be because she wasn't she like the first one to go. She went. She didn't tell us she was going. Yeah, and neither did Joe. They both went without neither did telling Joe. us. And yeah, they, but they told us after the fact. Yeah, like I want to sit down and like make a list of like you know the pros and cons of each person because you know I hate to say it, Mary is a strategist like almost scarily like just watching her, you know, say like, oh, we could do this, 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 and it's like, oh, you're right, we could. And it's like, I could team up with her, but then, I don't know, it just makes me scared because I'm like, oh, you might be a snake, you might be a snake, and I'm not for snakes.
So I just wanted to talk to you and get an idea of where you're at because losing the first challenge is obviously shitty. And it puts all of us at a disadvantage because none of us know each other very well yeah. or have seen each other play the game well enough yet that like to judge who deserves to get voted off and who doesn't. But yeah. obviously we have to make the decision. So did you have anyone in mind or Honestly, um I was looking, I was thinking about it the other day, and I was torn between Hannah and Nick. Yeah. I think, I think Nick is, I think Nick is great, but a little uh, overconfident. I think, you know, the only grounds we have to decide on who gets voted off is this first challenge. Nick didn't really think about the team and this early in the game you need to <laughs> um, that's just hands down we want a, a cohort and not someone who's working for themselves I think he's got a lot to bring to the table but at the same time a personality like that can be toxic it right can, you can run into it. I think it's definitely risky. Oh, Bram was the one who I like semi knew before, um, and I think we also get along well so far. He is, I think, very much focused on like what needs to be done in order to do well in the game, um, and I think for right now that's good. I think maybe later on he could pose more of a threat, but we will see. Well, there was talk of uh, how Nick was getting very frustrated um, during the challenge because I mean, I know, I mean, I didn't do great in the challenge either, but I kept, like, kept a calm head and just was trying to focus on my task, whereas I think Nick was getting really worked up. So, good, I'm glad we all had to work. Agreed, yeah. Because, like, losing the first challenge just puts us in a really tough position yeah. immediately, <laughs> uh, right off the bat, and I just wanted to get a sense of, like, what people are thinking. I like Hannah too. I don't have as much of a read on her, but I think she seems so far to be a good player and someone that like is going to be valuable to the tribe. Um, yeah, and she was also easy to talk to, um, and she was very willing to come discuss with me and try to figure out things, which was a good omen. Because yeah, he was getting frustrated, and I don't know if for as confident as he seemed, like right. I don't know if that means he'd be a potential for it later. Right. Kenzie felt that we should uh, get rid of Nick, I believe, because of um, his first. I think she said his frustration during the challenge. I think she saw that as um, a weakness, and I knew she was kind of fearful because she thought I. It took me quite a bit of time to untangle. Um, uh, the balls. It was really close down. It was down to the wire at the end. Ultimately my tribe lost But that's fine. It we the two other tribes have a clue to the immunity idol and they're safe Whereas we are not and we will have to Boot someone off. I don't want someone to feel bad that they're gonna be the very first to go home um, And that I would be contributing to them <laughs> leaving um, but it's the game and that's just what's going down. Nick, Kenzie, and Bram all at the table first, and immediately I turned to uh, Joe and Hannah because those were the two I wanted to ally myself with and go, so is it like too soon to start playing the game? And Joe was like, no, 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 not at all. So we set up the camera. Um, personally, and I'm like, I'm totally open to whoever, but speaking specifically on the challenge, I think Nick and Kenzie got the hardest time. So that's kind of where my mind is at, but like I want to hear what y'all are thinking. If you have thoughts, anything. There's something still about Nick. I'm sorry, Nick. I know you're watching this like sometime in the fall. Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's always a fucking. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Jacob. Bleep it out. Bleep. So. <laughs> bleep. Um. So I think Nick is a possible threat to the future. I do believe in voting Nick off. I think that we need someone who's gonna like step up and do the more physical challenges, but he did kind of uh, fuck up the um, balls. And he's also like, he got really frustrated and you could tell he was getting like 
like beating it, like kind of like beating it up and like whatever. Yeah, we do need a team that's gonna like come together and like have a high morale, especially like coming right off of a loss. But I was, I was kind of thinking Kinsey, because she said numerous times, you're showing back up Isabella. She said numerous times like, oh yeah, I feel like I'm like Isabella. And I'm like, that's not good because spoilers, oh. Isabella won the game. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I got a really bad vibe from two people, okay? One from Kinsey, one from Nick. I go on their social media and like all that sort of stuff and just, you know, look at that description. Isn't that just fantastic? It says, short and extremely suspicious. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that, you know who that reminds me of? That just reminds me of Isabella. Um, and also she said numerous times at night uh, when we were eating in a DH together as like a tribe, uh, she was like, Oh, I'm best friends with Isabella. Oh, I feel like I'm just like Isabella. And what was I doing ever since episode one of season two? We need to get rid of Isabella. So I'm just like, I want to get rid of Kenzie because I feel like she's going to do the same exact thing. Also, she's reaching out to all the other tribe members before she reached out to me. So she obviously sees that as like, she sees me as a threat. So I want her gone because there can't be two big powerhouses in the tribe. So, I want to be the powerhouse, and I want her gone. Like, it was kind of funny, episode one, I was like, there's something up with Isabella, I don't like that, and no one would like listen to me, because yeah. they're like, no, 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 she, she doesn't understand what's going on, and I was like, no, she does. So, I kind of see a lot of Isabella in Molly, and I think... I'm... Okay. Oh, sorry, Kenzie, sorry. <laughs> that was the no, most terrifying sorry. thing. No, 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 no. I put a lot of stock into what Joe says, and I, I also feel as though I... While like, I'm starting to get to know people, like everyone on my tribe, and I'm befriending them, I feel like, aside from Joe, everyone's at an equal playing field for me. There's no one that really seems more difficult to read than others. Yeah, so our plan is just, like, I like being loyal, and loyalty in general, so if you won't vote against me, mm -hmm. I won't vote against you. Yeah. So that's the plan. So mm -hmm. what do you think? Yes, no, like, I, I totally agree. Like, I mean, it's like, with the uh, upcoming week and everything, we need to make sure that we're gonna be safe and everything. Right. And so if we're on the same page, this is like, perfect. Okay? Yeah, yeah. And so, like, during dinner and everything, I, I talked to uh, Molly and Hannah, and we were both like, hey, what do you guys think? Like, mm -hmm. who should we vote for? And we're like, we should probably vote for Kenzie because she has the same kind of personalities as Isabella did in season two, which oh, really? was- Who's Isabella? Isabella, uh, she was the actual like winner of Survivor Boston season two. So sorry, spoilers. Yeah, okay, this okay. That's, fine. that's fine. Yeah, that's okay, fine. so yeah. I think it's an opportunity to me because he can teach a lot of things that he used to like do the last season, I guess. Yeah, I asked him a lot already and he taught me a lot so because this tribal is a new thing to me and he explained me that the only thing that can save me is basically just try to tell like persuade people that I must stay in order to win the challenge like the group challenge in my opinion Kenji needs to leave okay in my, in my understanding if you trust someone and that person lies to you mm -hmm. it's no longer your friend Okay. So I would take it personal. You would take it personal. In my opinion, the price mm -hmm. doesn't worth it. Even like, no, there's no price, price that can like ruin your friendship. Oh yeah, true. Right? Def yeah, no, yeah. I think Molly and I probably clicked easiest. Um, she was the easiest person to talk to when it came to who do we think needs to be voted off. What have you thought? Like, what are, what like, are your thoughts? Okay, <laughs> so I like have low-key been thinking about it. It's yeah. been like a stressful weekend, but um, yeah. So I mean, Nick is definitely a strong player, so it comes down to like, do we like get rid of him early or like later on right. if we can? Um, I don't know, like... Like, we need physical ability right now more than we need morale. And I think I can step up and be like a good like cheerleader for us. So I don't think that we need Kenzie on top of that. Like I did, like we were standing around like all the other, like, come on Joe, come on Nick, when they were throwing the balls. Like I did volleyball for a couple of years in high school and that's all we did, like, come on ladies, like, like, the, I can do that. I can step up. Like, overall, like, on a short term, getting Kenzie out's great, and on a long term, Kenzie, getting Kenzie out's great, but, like, 
while I try to make it to the merge, like after this next, uh, after this tribal council, like it would be better to have her than like Bram or Nick. Like right now, um, I'm starting to play a little bit more hardball. Uh, for instance, like I find myself in a position where I have a lot of power because everyone in my tribe is like, oh my gosh, like this guy, like, you know, even though he was voted off, he made it like right before merge. He obviously knows how to get a little ways in this game and he has some experience. I just need to be careful because if they see that I'm like being too dominant, they're going to want to get rid of me really fast. So, because I, I guess I would like know too much. I'm just getting kind of worried that I'm going to extend way too far. It's, I'm going to be like the British Empire, you know, I'm going to be everywhere and then you fall apart at the end. Welcome to Tribal Council. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> I love it. In the game of Survivor Boston, your buff represents your life, which means that when you are voted off, we take your buff and we drown it in this bucket of water. So when your buff is gone, so are you. All right, so, Bram, right off the bat, you're split into three teams instead of two. How does that change things um, in terms of teams? It was, it's definitely different. Um, and I think that you have more opportunity to really get to know who your teammates are. Molly, how does it feel to have a returning player in this game? I mean, I like it. <laughs> it's nice getting to know like his perspective on things and like how things work for him because it could show like how things are gonna end up being for us and like give us like little insights. Joe, do you feel like you could be a potential threat since you've played a time before? I mean, yeah, I'm sure they're thinking that. Um, I do know like some things that happen in this game that they may not know yet, but also at the same time, that could possibly be like a reason why they may want to keep me or, like, around, because like I could give them some insightful tips and things that they could do and like what they could not do. Yeah, it's like a textbook right now. Kenzie, you're faced with this kind of dilemma. On one hand, the returning player, he has some experience that he can give towards you guys, but on the other hand, he might be a better player. How do you decide sort of which way to think? I think it just depends on what stage we're at in the game and what kind of strategy needs to be used. Well, I think at the beginning of the game, it's important to kind of have someone who knows the game around so that you can you know, get any info that you can use. Um, I think when it gets down to smaller numbers, it might be a different story, depending on the way the game plays out at that point. So, let's talk about the challenge. Nick, you guys fell behind a lot during the challenge. What's the cause of that? Uh, I think it was the first time we, we did this competition, so we weren't prepared. And we were kind of nervous, all of us. So it also played a big role. We lost the game, so it wasn't the best. Yeah. And was there anyone to blame during this? Because it does seem like there were certain stages, or you guys caught up near the end, but during beginning, middle, might have fallen behind a little bit. No, in my opinion, I only blame myself. I'm trying sorry. to be serious, guys, okay? First time in my life, okay? <laughs> so, uh, I can only blame myself, because it, I, it wasn't the best performance I ever could, like, I could have done better. I, I can only blame myself, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to blame any other player in my team. So Hannah, he's coming right out and saying, oh, I blame myself. Does that give it kind of an easy decision for who to vote off? To a certain degree, yes. But honestly, I think like it was our first challenge, and no matter what part of the challenge we could have been stumbling at, it, then responsibility would have fallen on the next person anyways to try to catch us up. So everyone, it's, it's a group effort. So, Bram, if we can't blame it on anyone in the challenge, then what do you base your vote on tonight? Well, are, can, I still, um, can I still talk about the challenge? Yeah, sure. Okay. I mean, my vote is going to be based off of what we've done, and that the only thing is the challenge. So, I think that we really, um, we fell behind, um, and for the most part, during the ball throwing. Um, and that's what I'm going to base my decision off of. Nick, he, and Joe as well, he's calling you guys out saying that the ball throwing was what made you guys fall behind. Joe, does that worry you at all? 
Yeah, I mean, I guess that, that does put me on the hot seat a little bit. You know, at the same time, you could, like, point fingers at everyone, really. Except for the dominoes. Who else could you point fingers at? Uh, well, I could also point fingers at Kenzie because she kind of untangled the balls as well. So, Kenzie, he's looking at you saying, oh, you might be a potential person. How does that make you feel? Um, I mean, yeah, it's a little nervous. Uh, it makes me a little nervous. I definitely had that at the forefront of my mind right after, immediately after the challenge. I think the fact that even though I took a little bit of time completing my part of the challenge, I kept a pretty calm head overall, um, and I hope that counts for something. Nick, and the same question could be asked to you. You blamed yourself for uh, this challenge, for losing this challenge. How could you defend yourself as to why you shouldn't be going home? Oh, because it's not time yet. <laughs> Why is it not time? I wasn't prepared like for this. I thought it would it would be like more physical, like physical contact. So maybe one day I'll show myself. So Molly, Hannah was saying before that you can't really base it off the challenge yet because we're just starting. But then you talk to Bram and he's saying, yeah, the challenge is the only thing we can go off of. I mean, I definitely see where both of them are coming from because, I mean, I know some people know each other like from before this, but like personally, I just met these people on Friday and it's Monday. So it is like the most time we have spent together and the only time we've spent together as a group was at the challenge and then immediately after you like getting dinner for like half an hour. Like I, there are a couple different ways to look at it and I see where both of them are coming from. Okay, uh, Kenzie, this team, this tribe then does seem like a pretty unified tribe in general from what you all are saying. Does that ring true to you? Um, and then how is this vote gonna kind of change that or not change that in the future? Um, I think it's true. I mean, I think having lost the first challenge, we're all kind of just determined to do better moving forward, and I think that's gonna stay consistent and kind of help to unify us more. Joe, do you think that, she's saying that it's gonna help unify you guys more. Do you agree with that? Do you think that you guys will come out of this vote more unified? Oh, I, I definitely think so. Uh, because, I mean, from my experience with season two, uh, <laughs> Tri tribal can definitely bring people together, um, and even though if, if like in season two, like we didn't win anything for like that whole entire time, we're at least like unified as like a tribe. Okay, so, so. it is time to vote. It's just kind of what I think uh, needs to happen right now. It's what everyone kind of agreed upon. I don't think this person's being loyal to us and she's like talking truth to us. That's my choice. I'll go tally the votes. If anybody has a hint in Community Idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. Okay, once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted off will be asked to leave the Tribal Council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote. Nick. Kenzie. One vote Nick, one vote Kenzie. Nick, two votes Nick. Kenzie, we're tied. Two votes to Nick, two votes Kenzie, two votes left. Kenzie, that's three votes Kenzie, two votes Nick, one vote left. The first person voted out of Survivor Boston Beacon Hill. Kenzie. Did you bring your buff? Kenzie, Travis spoken. Bye, Kenzie. Bye, guys. <laughs> well, you guys were hoping that this would make you guys a more unified tribe. Let's see if this holds true. Grab your stuff and head on out. Good night. As I say, it's not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
this kind of sucks, I guess. <laughs> um, I was, the whole time I was just saying, as long as I'm not the first person voted off, I'm fine. And lo and behold. I talked to everyone, um, and we all, I thought, had a unanimous decision. Turns out we did. <laughs> it was not the decision I thought it was. Um, yeah, so that kind of blows, but hey, it's fun.